Two days to go before town meeting day in Vermont. In Burlington, voters have a busy ballot packed with referendums. Mayor Moreau Weinberger joins me back to break down the warning, and we start with four contested city council seats. I mean, there's only one open seat of the, of the four that are up this year. Next year, there'll be eight up. Um, there are active races in all four districts. Right. Um, and um, as you, actually, I would say, I, you know, the way our, it's pretty, I have supported um, candidates in the past, and I'm doing that with a few of them this time as well. And, and we have some, you know, it, it, Burlingtonians once again have um, real choices in, e in each district. Burlingtonians are fortunate that um, it, is, it is very rare for there to be an uncontested race. They always get choices, and they, they have that again this year. Okay. Let's talk about some of the ballot items. Five, yeah. correct? There are technically, I guess, six items on the local ballot, uh, including the school, school budget and then an advisory ballot. Um, about uh, whether or not Burlingtonians want us to use plastics. Um, and then there are four that really get to s municipal issues. Okay. The, the plastic bag or the single-use plastics issue, yes. is that binding? No, that is an advisory okay. item that's really, uh, was led by City Councilor Joan Shannon, who, um, and I, uh, who really wanted to poll Burlingtonians essentially and see what they think Where of single-use plastics. Uh, there has been talk of regulating these in the past, but there hasn't been consensus on the council. She's hoping perhaps there'll be a clear message from voters about this issue this time. Okay. Let's talk about um, the increase in tax rate. Bump up a little bit of, of taxes, maybe $13 per 100000 of a um, of a home assessed value. Let's, let's talk about that first one first. Yes. Yes, well, um, for just the second time in the eight budgets that I've been responsible for, uh, we are coming to voters and asking for an increase in the taxes that we use to fund city services, the, the, the kind of general city tax. And um, uh, we try to avoid doing this. I'm very sensitive to the fact that people in Burlington, property taxes are very high. We are a property tax burden community. Um, so we have avoided this uh, six other times. Uh, this year we felt if we were going to maintain services at this level, we needed to ask for a 1.5% increase, which does work out to, uh, for the, um, I think your stats are about right, or the average home, uh, we've been saying about $40 over the course of a year. Okay. Um, the, uh, even if this goes through and is approved by voters, and I am asking the voters to support this, if you compare uh, the, this, these taxes to inflation over that year, eight year period, we have kept the increases below the rate of inflation. I'm proud to be able to say that. Um, probably maybe the most controversial uh, downtown improvement district and when it comes to planning and permitting. So let's talk about planning and permitting yeah. first. Um, this would kind of move maybe a couple of, of yeah. city organizations when it comes to having maybe a one-stop shop when it comes to getting a permit. Is that fair? Yeah, that's just about it. Uh, actually, I actually have heard very little controversy about this. This was supported by the City Council 11 to 1, and I think most people think it would be a great idea uh, if we could improve our permitting system. I get more complaints about our permitting system than just about any other area of city operations. We have great city employees working in uh, to try to help the public here, but it is a very fractured system. You have it chopped up over three different departments. Essentially, what we're proposing to do is put all of those government functions related to permitting and inspections in one new permitting and inspections department with a single point of accountability, one department head that would oversee the whole whole operation and everyone would be located at, down on Pine Street so you would have a permit center in a single location, one stop shot as well. Uh, I, I think um, uh, you know, I'm very hopeful that this is going to bring down the error rate that we have, bring down some of the frustrations that people often voice about the, about the permitting system. Um, David White, then, would he keep his job? How would that work? Um, yep. Uh, so David White would still be the planning director. Um, we are taking, he is currently the director of planning and zoning. And the zoning part of his department is would be put into this new permitting and inspections department. So his responsibilities would change, um, and um, uh, but he, we will still have a, a planning director, and, and the expectation is David is going to continue in that role. Okay, but somebody else possibly would be hired to oversee the whole new plan. Um, 
Well, actually, the likely that what, what the plan is, the assumed plan, if this is approved by the voters, is that Bill Ward, who is currently the head of code enforcement and has really done a great job in that role, uh, widely respected within the community, um, the plan is to promote Bill to be the head of the, this new per permitting inspections department and to oversee the whole department. Okay. When it comes to the downtown improvement district, basically you're expanding who is included within the marketplace when it comes to gathering some more money and upkeep and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, um, we have had active management of the Church Street Marketplace for the last 30 years. Um, that has been a very good thing for the Church Street Marketplace, having this organization that you know, proactively markets it and uh, beautifies it. Uh, and, and the proposal here is to expand that active management to the whole downtown um, and uh, enhance the level of services throughout the downtown. And, there, and yes, there would be additional commercial properties that would also pay into this, this extra fee that Tertiary Marketplace uh, properties currently pay. There would be, uh, this would be a wi wider number of businesses and commercial off, properties. Some that, off Church Street businesses? Exactly. It would it really be commercial properties in the entire downtown. Residential properties are exempted. They will not pay additional fees, but uh, commercial properties um, uh, with, with, with businesses and retail uh, will chip in and it should give us some additional resources uh, to promote downtown Burlington and to address some of the uh, issues that we have off Church Street and make and you know that's some, one of the most um, frequent concerns I hear I often have people come to me and say you know Church Street is great but we're worried about the side streets we'd like to expand some of that vitality of the side streets we would like to see some of those enhanced services snow removal extra I landscaping see. we'd like to have that on the si side streets um, that's the kind of thing that this broader improvement district uh, will be able to take on. Appreciate you being here, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, always, always great to be with you, Lauren, truly, and I look forward to being back again in March. Okay, appreciate it. We'll be right back on What Matters This Week.